I am back with another video and today I am coming to you with a makeup tutorial. I've been really, I've been, I haven't done one in a while. I actually been pretty busy, but I wanted to come through and get one out for you guys. This is kind of like a glowy sloth, soft glam. Like my skin isn't completely matte, which you guys usually know. I love a matte look. But um, I wanted to come through and do something a little bit different that I don't usually do. So I kind of added a little bit more glow than I normally would under normal circumstances. And I actually kind of like it. Um, the only reason I chose to do this is because uh, my skin was feeling a little bit dry. Um, the, the, the months here, like it's, it's like that spring, winter type of time frame. So it was kind of a little off as far as like how my skin is feeling so it was a really really dry so i'm like you know what let me try a little hydrated kind of glowy look which you guys know it's not normal but i actually i actually like it it looks nice i feel like i look awake i feel like i look ready to go i'm not going anywhere at all but to the laundromat but i wanted to come through and show you guys this look plus i show you guys a little skincare in the beginning um i wanted to show you guys a new mask that i've been trying out so i show you that in the video as well just to kind of incorporate some skincare in there because you guys know i'm all about the skin and i love skincare if you don't know check out some of my other videos um where i talk about skincare and show you guys a lot of my skincare routines um so you guys can check those out but if you want to see how I got this look, then definitely keep on watching. So first I'm going to be going in with this clay mask. This is from Gleeman. It is their vitamin C clay match, which is really great for dark spots and hyperpigmentation and smoothing the texture of your skin. Um, I have gums with a little brush, which is the one I'm going to be using to apply it. And I just brush it on. Very smooth application. This mask is very, very smooth, not chunky. Um, at all. It does have some really great natural organic ingredients like turmeric and aloe vera. Um, the turmeric, it does not stain, so just keep that in mind. I know it's kind of like one of those ingredients that you have to use a very small amount of so it doesn't stain, and this does not stain at all. When I washed my face off, my sink was not orange, so <laughs> it does not stain. It is formulated for all skin types, so even if you guys have oily skin or I have oily skin, so if you, even if you guys have like dry skin or combination skin, it is formulated for all skin types. So just keep that in mind that it is um, great for anyone who has, you know, some hyperpigmentation, um, dark spots, or even if you're just looking for a little extra boost and hydration and just love a good mask, this is a really good one and it only stays on for about 10 minutes and it just hardens and you just wipe it and rinse it off and I just apply a warm towel. Um, to dry off and take off any excess. Next, we're gonna be hopping into the makeup. I did apply my brows off camera. Like usual, there will be a link in the cards um, for my eyebrow routine. So now I'm going in with the Too Faced uh, multi scope Concealer in, I believe, Chestnut, and I'm just going to blend that out with a large shader brush. Next, I'm going to go in with the first eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the Dare to Create palette from Morphe, and I'm just going in with that first shade called Define Me. I pretty much use that row of big shadows, if you guys know what the what this palette is. Um, I just use pretty much the row of the bigger eyeshadows, but the first shade I'm going in with is the Define Me. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Evolve, kind of like in that transition area and just working that on top just so everything is nice and blended and gives me like that nice kind of you know, slightly brownish orange kind of tone that I was going for for this look. just in that outer portion and kind of dragging it into the crease. I kind of wanted this look to be very blended. I feel like I haven't done very blended looks in a while. So I just applied that to the outer V into the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Bare as my brow bone highlight and just apply that underneath my brow bone. 
and then I took the shade Muse which is the black from the palette and I just used that to smudge along my lash line because I did not want this to be winged out so I just used the shadow to smudge along my lash line and I applied my lashes off camera because it takes me forever. Now I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Cream as my moisturizer and just apply it to my face. This is a really great moisturizer guys. I'm going to be honest. It is pricey but it is a really, really, really good moisturizer. Next I'm going to go in with my Beauty Bakery Setting Powder and this is in the shade Almond. This is actually the method I would used in my last video that I learned from Jordan Liberty and I've pretty much been applying my foundation this way um, since then. I really really like how my foundation looks afterwards. Now I'm going to go in with my rose water and my primer which is the Too Faced Hangover Primer and to finish kind of this pre-foundation routine. Next for foundation, I'm going with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shades Chai and Spice to Rum just to get the kind of shade that I'm looking for and I'm just going to blend that in using a beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna go on with this Deck of Scarlet's Illuminating Drops, the copper one. I'm gonna go on with this. I meant to apply this before I blended out my entire foundation, um, but I forgot, so I'm just applying it kind of in those high points that I would normally do this, but I actually meant to blend this in with my foundation and I forgot. Now I'm gonna go on with the multi scope Concealer in the shade Chestnut and apply that underneath my eyes and a high point to my face, my nose, my forehead, my chin, my upper lip, and I'm gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. And before I blend everything out, I'm gonna go on with the uh, ColourPop foundation stick. I believe this is in 213 Deep Dark. flower setting powder in plantain um, and just set those high points up in uh, my eyes, my forehead, my nose, all those areas. Next I'm going to go on with the NYX slide on pencil in jet black and just apply that to my lower lash line. I'm looking for a new waterline uh, pencil. If you guys can recommend any, definitely leave a link or a comment down below and let me know which brand you guys use. I'm kind of looking for a high-end one um, that's not, that's one that I haven't used before. So on my lower lash line, I just reapplied um, those transition colors that I applied on my top lash line. And then I went in with the next shade called Vivid, which is kind of like a more coral kind of shade. And I just used that on my lid. I just thought of that last minute, so that's why you guys see me do that at the end. Next, I'm gonna go on with the Ebony Bronzer from CoverGirl just to set and really define my contour. And then I'm gonna go in and set my entire face with the shade Almond from the Beauty Bakery Setting Powder. lips with MAC lip liner in chestnut and then I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss from ColourPop X Ellery collab and this is in Netta and then I went in with the Lorac tantalizer bronzer this is kind of like one of my favorite like highlighting in your product um, powder 
it for the completed look guys i hope you guys like it it was really really simple super easy the eyes was just super easy just super just uh, i love how the eyes came out it's just something i would wear on a normal like i don't want to say on everyday basis because i feel like this is a lot but i feel like if i just need to you know do something really really quickly i feel like this is the kind of look that i would normally do I hope you guys enjoyed it i love 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 how this look came out and yeah it's super pretty um and super like glowy a lot more glowy than your girl usually does especially the lips the lips aren't even matte the lips are glossy like who are you Renell? like who are you like seriously um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to know um a list of products or see the list of products that i use throughout the video check the description box they will be down there as well um also check out my earrings you guys know i'm gonna say it check them out They're on my website I use um, but it is free shipping and i hope you guys check it everything out on the website i will be adding things as i get them and as i am ready to start start releasing them to you guys um, my mug is still available as well Total, I told you Total Diva wasn't going anywhere so the Total Diva mug is still available the links for that will be down in the description box as well um, as well as anything else you guys are interested in the list of products that I used links for the list of products that I use all the information that you can possibly ask or probably need is already down in the description box if it isn't leave me a comment down below or question down below and I will respond to it as soon as I can. I usually respond within like 24 hours. Like I usually respond, if not immediately within the day, I usually respond. So definitely comment down below. Any questions, comments, suggestions, video ideas you guys are interested in seeing, let me know. I am here for you. So let me know what videos you guys wanna see. I will definitely be able to get more content out to you guys more frequently very 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 sooner than you think okay so definitely leave your comments and video suggestions down below and i would definitely work on those and yeah i will see you guys in my next video again thank you for stopping in and checking out my channel i greatly appreciate it for you guys that have been sticking it out um and i will see you guys in my next one bye